Let's look at how to calculate factorial in Python using an iterative approach. So first of all, I've got an empty folder here. I'm going to create a text document. And we're going to rename this one factorial.py. Let's go ahead and change that. And I'm going to open it with my Notepad++ editor and get started. First, I want to import my sys, which I'll use to get a command line argument. Then I'm going to write my function. So factorial is usually some number, like five, with an exclamation point after it. And that is equal to five times four times three times two times one. It's a good idea. Um, four factorial will be four times three times two times one. The same kind of thing. So I'm going to write my definition here, factorial, and I'm going to pass in my number. And it's going to be the product of all the, well, integers leading up to that number and including that number. And so I'm going to have a total. It could be a product or something else. I'm going to initialize it with a value of 1. And then I will do a 4i in range i for index in range one two now the stop is not actually going to be num it's going to be the one right after it because it won't actually do that one so i'll do num plus one and then what i do is i just do total uh, equals total times i all right now I return my total, and there is my function. Now I also want to get my argument. I haven't retrieved it yet. So I'll have my in num equal to an int cast of sys.argv1. Normally you'd want to check also. So maybe remember to add checks here we want to verify that we actually have a an argv1 and we also want to make sure that it is an integer but that's okay and then we want my out number so the result to be equal to factorial of my in number and then i can display results right here And the way you do that is do a print statement. So I could actually do a, a more complex print statement if I wanted and do percent %d factorial equals percent %d. And then I can pass in my in num and my out num. And then I can display it, and so we'll see what it is. So I'll go ahead and save that. And I will jump down to my directory. You can see where I'm at. I can copy that. Go to a command prompt, cd, cd in that directory, do a directory listing. And I can see factorial right here. I can pass it over 5. And we can see that 5 factorial equals 120. So that is the iterative approach to solving factorial.